everyone welcome back it's so great to see you again and if you are new please leave a hi in the comments so I can give a hi back I love meeting new people and having you join the community It's so great to have you here I post weekly videos on everything home and garden living a natural simple life here in our little brick farmhouse well it's summer and here we are Everyone loves summer because you get to be outside, enjoying nature, and just gathering with friends. And that is until the bugs show up. But have no fear, today I'm here to help you make your own essential oil DIY Bug Be Gone spray. This spray is effective for fleas and flies and mosquitoes and everything in between. Safe, non-toxic, because who wants to be spraying toxic things on our pets, our children, or ourselves? So today we're gonna make our own DIY essential oil spray. Okay, first I want to mention the bottle itself. I use this bottle from Amazon. I will link it down below. This is a 16 ounce bottle and they are plastic and it is amber colored for a reason because this helps protect the essential oils. Essential oils must be protected from sunlight. Sunlight can break down the oil, it can cause oxidization and that affects how the oil is going to work for you. And since this is a spray we're gonna use outside, you wanna keep it in a dark colored bottle. Next, I wanna talk about the quality of the bottle. You want a higher quality bottle because essential oils can be caustic, they can wear down rubber and plastic, and you don't want that to happen to your sprayer, your seal or your sprayer mechanism. So you wanna choose a high quality bottle. Now we're going to get started with mixing our product. We're just going to use half and half water and witch hazel. Water can just be filtered water. You don't want to add city water that has chlorine or fluoride or any of that. Now for witch hazel, I will link this down below too. You can just get it on Amazon. You can get it anywhere. But witch hazel has a lot of really good healing properties to it already. So it's an all natural product. It is derived from the witch hazel plant and it helps with skin issues already. If you have sunburn, if you have a cut or a scrape or something like that, it's not going to burn like a commercial product will when you spray it on your skin. Because if you've ever done that and you had a scratched open mosquito bite or your skin's been sensitive or a cut and you spread that alcohol based product on and it stings. You definitely don't want that. The tannins in which hazel reduce swelling and help repair broken skin. So if you already have that kind of stuff going on or an insect bite, this won't sting and irritate like those products can. And so it, it, it's going to add more healing to those issues already. Now we're going to get started with mixing our oils. First, I'm going to use lavender. Lavender is everyone's favorite oil, but all throughout history, it's been used for fleas and flies and mosquito as a natural repellent. Next, we're going to use eucalyptus. Now the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, in their investigations and research for West Nile vial treatment, has discovered that it is 95% protection rate for up to three hours. So eucalyptus is a great bug repellent. Next, we're gonna use peppermint. Peppermint has been used for pest control for a very long time. It has a wonderful scent and it repels mosquitoes and ants and all of those things. Next, we're going to use tea tree oil and I'm just adding about eight drops. I will put this all down below how much I use. I'm sorry, I didn't mentioned that already, but I will do that. And thyme um, has been used throughout history and studies verified that it has an 81% protection rate. So in combination with all these other oils, it's going to do great at repelling bugs. So there you have it, your Bug Be Gone spray. Go ahead and shake it each time you use it to make sure that you are fully distributing those oils. You are friends, your very own Bug Be Gone spray using essential oils, safe and non-toxic for your family and your pets. I hope that you enjoy using this and I hope that you'll give it a like and subscribe. Great to have you here. See you next time. Be blessed and be safe.